Hello my friends, it's almost winter time and the most beautiful part about winter it's a snow and the snow will be the main character of our workshop. We're gonna paint the beautiful landscape with the snowy background and tree silhouettes. Uh, we're gonna take three different groups. Uh, the first is gonna be the tree silhouette and the other tree a little bit slightly behind and the uh, big group of trees on the uh, uh, horizon so uh that's gonna help us to create the beautiful composition because the composition the composition is all about how we can uh compose pieces of our landscape on our paper so we're gonna put our paper vertically create uh the First of all, with the pencil, the tree silhouettes, and then we're gonna work on the beautiful snow and uh, kind of like a later evening sky. So that is gonna help us to see the old beauty of the snow. And uh, of course, the snow, what we think about when we think about snow, it's appeared to be white, but it's also the magical thing about the white color. It's always uh, kind of absorbed the other colors, which is uh, its white color surrounded. So we're gonna learn how to create the white snow without being white. So like on this beautiful picture of one of my students, and we're gonna start with the painting the background and then create the silhouettes of trees and then work on the snow and use some special effects like a sparkles or a little bit of glitter just to show the old beauty of our landscape. See you on the workshop. Thank you. First of all, we're going to start with painting our paper with the slightly uh, gray color, not too dark, not too light. That's going to be the base, a background for us to draw the tree. We're going to use the black and white acrylic paint and very, very thin brush and water and napkin. In order to find the place for our tree, we have to find where we're gonna have our horizon. And I recommend you to, because the tree will be tall, so we need to have the, our horizon uh, as one third of our paper. So one third of our paper will be right over here. Okay. So now I'm gonna create my tree and I will start from the bottom because our trunk of the tree will be kind of thick on the bottom and as soon as it goes up it's going to become thinner and thinner and then we need to find out where we're going to have our branches and don't put them like in order that they will be even from both sides try to make it more natural uh, as the usually the tree will look in the nature and then the branches will create the beautiful harmony of this tree So where is the a little bit thicker branches will kind of spread and have on their branches the smaller branches. That's going to create some lovely composition for us. And then after that, when we create the tree, just the sketchy kind of uh, tree, we will work on that more. We're going to put some evergreen tree somewhere right there. Okay. 
just sketchy because we're gonna color this with the nice green color and put some snow on the top of it so this is will be the tree which is a little bit behind this is the important part to make sure that the tree will stop somewhere farther compared with this tree because this tree it's on the front okay so we create the tree and then we're gonna put some forest forest will be somewhere there so the reason why it's going to be smaller because it's farther away that's how composition works and when you try to show new 2d 3d objects so they're supposed to shrink when they go farther you can put like a little house somewhere there that doesn't hurt so we'll kind of create more countryside atmosphere and so this is it for sketchy part of our lesson and then we will be back when we uh, start mixing colors for our beautiful light evening like the beginning of the evening like down hours uh, for the sky for the next part we need the bigger brush to be able to cover more surface so sounds that will be the right size it's kind of the thumb thumb size that's the right size for this and then we're gonna mix some light blue pink color for the sky that's why we cover the whole picture with the light gray because that's gonna set the mood for the evening these colors we need for the sky for now and we can mix some extra few hues of the same color when we start our background coloring we kind of go around the tree first just to create the main layers of the our strokes and then we're gonna go with the smaller brushes around the tree in between of the branches so I think so I need some uh, more blue color for the our sky that's my blue color I use the darker and white one and that's what I do I mix them into my pink one part of my uh, sky will be lighter because that's where the sun set uh was and so that's gonna help me to create more varieties of the colors uh, on the sky you look on a, a sky uh, by the evening time you usually will see that the sky become kind of lighter close to horizon so that's what we're gonna do put some lighter colors by horizon Look at the evening colors when you will walk on the evening or come back from work, staying in the traffic on the lights. Look at the evening sky. It's gonna kind of collect for you some impressions about the evening colors. Then you can put them on your work. Besides pink color, you can add some orange in your pink group color that's gonna create some interesting kind of fro frosty orange color which is gonna look really nice as a sunset part of the sky just somewhere there where the sunset is supposed to be before we start the landscape so kind of leftovers of sunset and I add some more white and pink in that group and kind of color around this area to connect that colors I already have just like that now we need to uh, uh, mix some more colors 
maybe a little bit with blue uh, so just to show the evening color or this that kind of the mix of pink and lighter orange together just to connect this color and now I will add some blue that's my frosty kind of blue and pink together they're gonna be the nice color for some close to forest and horizon places just like that and i need a little bit darker pink and darker blue now in order to change the color you need to wash your brush so you don't get the same color all over so and wipe it very nicely mix more blue from this too and get this nice shade for the top so showing that it's actually getting darker getting close to the evening And just like that we create the darker part and now we can change the brush from this size to medium size like that so and we can color between branches to finish our sky I mix a little bit yellow and orange to create that uh, kind of sunny but evening sunshine color kind of white yellow and orange color together and we can start with this color somewhere between branches just to get the nice highlight for our tree and just to bring some warmer colors into the picture because according by the color theory the warmer colors with the contrast of darker and colder colors they make this cold colors even colder so with a little bit of warm colors around that was supposed to be the sunset area on your picture we make the other colder colors looks even colder so now that's what we're gonna do we will make the a kind of cold pink color darker red and then I'm gonna take some dark blue, just like that. And with this dark, kind of almost purple color, because that's what the blue and red do when they mix. They create the darker purple color. Not lavender if you use the white gonna be lavender but without white it's just gonna be purple and then this purple will be the perfect color for our Florida trees they just gonna be kind of like a line of some darker purple Color. we can add a little bit of green later when it's dry but on us it's just a kind of highlight of this farther trees just to create the right color collaboration and then I will use this dark purple with adding but with the very clean brush And we create some lavender color and that lavender color can be some color for the sky too this brush is too small so we will be back with our bigger brush and we mix together 
our lavender with blue. This will help us to kind of outline that purple. And maybe somewhere here too. Take a look how that gray color works now for our composition. It's kind of being that nice background for our picture. It's also help us to create that atmosphere of the evening because if you kind of look at the evening time, the everything around kind of start to be grayish. So with a lot of different highlights, but gray, it's kind of the color of the evening sometimes with the blue, darker blue. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to add some blue and create some more blue color for our sky with a little bit of pink. And we'll see how that's gonna work. You can create some uh, cloud formation if you want. If it's not too hard, I just kind of will mention this kind of mass, which is can be the some of the cloud. And just with the very, very light coat of color, we go slightly over our branches, not completely covering them, just a little bit. And for now, this is going to be it for the sky. We will see if we need more color when we're done with the snow. It's going to be the funnest part, create the snow. And I'm not going to wash my palette on purpose. Because if I was mentioning before, that the snow absorb in um in it in that color of the snow it's absorb all colors around so basically snow it's gonna be like a reflection of our sky colors but in a lighter shade so what we're gonna do first of all we're gonna create some we're gonna get a lot a lot a lot of white color and then we will slightly poke some pink for instance and knit it in it And then we're going to start from the farther snow. And also we can use some blue in it, of course, because the evening color, it's almost a blue and gray colors, right? And some pink. So that will work. So that will help us. And then we're missing some pink. We can even use some lavender color. Okay, so we're gonna get some a little bit of pink color with lavender. And then I recommend you to get a little bit of red. Just a little bit, that was too much. Way more than we need. Just a slight pink for mixing. And then we can add some that beautiful. See the direction of my strokes? I'm kind of trying to uh, do the vertical strokes uh, because I have a big brush. I don't want to do the horizontal strokes because that's not gonna help. So we're covering as more as we could with that color using the vertical strokes. And then I want some more blue, just darker blue. This darker blue, darker. And again, I kind of mix it into my light pink.
Okay, and I think so for the front, I need more white color. Using more white. Just kind of get the snow layers over. So then I will use the side brushes, strokes, just maybe create some snow formation and use a lot, a lot of white again, maybe with some orange and create more snow formation. Because over there, this is our kind of after sunset area. And that's why we can add some orange color. Because uh, the snow will be like a mirror for our colors on the sky. Same as water, if you do sunset on the water. And close by, I can think that we can do some blue with white and do more but mix very well your colors because otherwise you're gonna see the colors of your mix and trying to uh, over, uh, overlap the gray color so I can get some We need to overlayer a little bit that uh, part. So I'm going to get more white. Try to use the clean brush for a little white. So this is going to be like a lot of white. And just tiny bit of blue. And that's going to be for that front. layers of our snow because it has to be more substantial so then we kind of show the consistency of uh, the snow layer and cover our gray and then i will get a little bit of orange into my snow for that area do you remember we were talking about that is after sunset area and we need a little bit of shadow around the tree from the tree so it will be a little bit darker here and then we come back to our nice and fresh frosty snow color but slightly with lavender so because it's kind of adding that evening charm to it so some snow by the tree so that will help us to Kind of form the layers of the snow. I will get some blue uh, color and uh, mix it very well with our lavender, and that will be for the farther areas. And again for the front. Maybe a little bit lighter with that nice mix of orange. So we just kind of get over that translucence of the gray, adding some colors. So something like that. And we let it dry. So we can work on our trees 
now and let the snow and sky to dry because acrylic colors has tendency to become lighter when it's dry so we will work on branches and uh, evergreen tree i'm gonna make some green color for my uh, evergreen tree that nice evergreen color kind of cold green i use the green and a little bit of blue in it and then we're gonna work on our evergreen tree we start from the top and then we go with the strokes to the bottom so that will help us to kind of get the outlining of the tree and then we're gonna cover this later with the snow just to show kind of the Christmassy spirit so that's the tree done and then I will mix that with the darker blue and maybe just a little bit of red That's gonna create kind of almost purple color. And then I will get this color kind of creating the silhouette of the trees. Just give more details to the forest behind. Okay, and also if we get some blue in this color, so that will work as a shadow on the snow. The tree has some shadow. And same thing, the evergreen tree has some shadow too. And buy a house somewhere there. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the tree branch of our main tree and I need a small brush for that. Okay, so I got my brush and with this brush we will create some uh, darker brown color for our uh, branch, branches and the trunk. So for that we gonna use this dark purple and we will add some light brown in that kind of this color use some brown right here and mix it with that darker purple we made for the forest and shadows and then it's gonna be kind of cold brown color and that's gonna be our color for the trunk kind of with the vertical strokes we working our way from the bottom to the top the way how the tree grow So this is our branches, we already worked on them when we were doing the sketch, so kind of adding some color to it with, with the thinner branches. I will think that we will wait, we will use the different brush just for the darker part. And the thicker part and then I'm not gonna color this with one color I will use some darker color made from that red and dark blue 
so kind of make again that purple color and that will be kind of in some part of this tree the shadow color and I'm gonna leave somewhere that uh, gray color of the background because sometimes depends on the light tree can look tree branch can look kind of grayish depends on the light around just go ahead and work on your branches until you feel like your brush is too big and then you can change it for the smaller brush that's what I'm gonna do with the smaller brushes we use on the beginning we will work on our smaller branches using some lighter brown color for them mix this with the leftovers of this orange mix so we'll create some lighter color and be very careful so don't overdo the branches so that they're not going to be too thick or too thin it kind of takes a lot of practice to do perfect but uh, we're not working on the perfect picture we're just working on the beautiful snowy winter picture and we don't need the perfection we just need the beautiful colors and that's what we're trying to accomplish so i work on branches the reason why i add some orange color in the mix because it's right where's that spot we were talking about we just got the sunset before so that that color will be appropriate for this part of the tree when you add some orange color in the tree branches it's kind of adding this uh, 3d look to the uh, tree and that's important so now I just want to do uh, opposite I want to add some darker colors so then we can have some darker highlights for the tree which is helps us to create the, the 3d look for the tree And I think that this is good enough. Uh, I just want to put few um, highlights of the snow on a tree. So then I use just a white with blue color just to put a little bit on the branches. Somewhere, not everywhere, but somewhere. just gonna kind of add some natural look to the dream Not too much, just a little bit. And it's also uh, something which is I want to mention for you that when you work on your a tree, which just has a lot of branches, 
uh, they kind of bunch up on the top and we're gonna use the special brush for that to get that look this is the brush I was talking about it looks like a little broom what we're gonna do we're gonna put it in the water get it a little bit wet and we're gonna get that light brown color on it just a light one and then very carefully we kind of like shape, shape up the tree the way we think that tree gonna looks nicer very careful and you can see that you cannot do it with your uh, brush the way how that kind of broomy look brush can do and even with a slight white that will work too then it's gonna make us our tree kind of looks more natural here we go and uh, now we're gonna work on our snowy parts on our, our evergreen tree oh, I also want to put some darker green colors on this evergreen tree in some deep parts of it just like that kind of create masses on the tree some deeper layers of it and I also will use uh, since I already have it on my brush I will use that green with a little bit of white for the farther trees since I already have it on my brush and I just gonna put it vertically like that that will help us to kind of add up some foresty look to that trees And then uh, I will add a little bit of a uh, light lavender color to that forest, farther forest, because some branches of the trees, they will be this color if you look from the distance. And also, I look at my tree and I thought that is a mistake because if the tree has the lights on this side, then so the shadow will be on the other side. And then we're gonna take that away later with the wider colors. It's the time to put some snow on our evergreen tree. Gonna use some snow color. 
with the white and a little bit of blue on it, of course, not too much. That blue is too dark. We'll get some lighter blue. And even lighter. Just like that. So good. Let's try. And again, we need to show that in the shadows, it's going to be darker. So, we add some blue. And we can also use this to cover the shadow here because it wasn't the right place for it. And I think that we can use a little bit for the snow on branches. So just to kind of for the Christmasy atmosphere. And then we're going to use that snow for the house roof right here. Okay. And we're going to add some snow for some trees. The farther trees maybe. Just a tiny bit. And some snow farther away. Now it's all about the details. And kind of eating some frosty in this to it. And also we need the color of our Color the house, I think. So it's kind of brown. We do have brown on our palette. So that will be the household color. We need a little bit more darker color. I'm gonna get some darker brown for the Christmas tree stem and for the house. The 
that's the stem for the tree and a little bit darker color for the house and now just the last look what we need for our picture maybe just a little bit darker by the house with the further trees just to get some more value to the forest add some color for the kind of stem area stem area for the forest we shouldn't do too much because then it's gonna be too dark we can't do the forest farther away since it's far away uh, darker than the Christmas tree I mean evergreen tree because then it's gonna be perspectively not right so the color is farther they shouldn't be the same intensity as the colors in the front we use it a little bit for the shadow here too. and maybe just for the snow on the front That's gonna be the shadow, and then on the top of it, we're gonna put some snow. Just a light blue snow. To create some contrast. And that light snow will be really nice some for some farther areas. The, the last touch up for um, the atmosphere, the winter atmosphere colors. for the forest. Just a little details before we finish. And I think so that I got some dot from uh, painting some branches. And I'm just gonna make the curl from this dot. It's like a Behind
and I think that maybe the window there can be some light in the window why not right need some yellow fan And I think so just like that we can finish for now. Thank you for your attention and see you in my classes. Hello my friends, it's almost winter time and the most beautiful part about winter it's a snow and the snow will be the main character of our workshop. We're gonna paint the beautiful landscape with the snowy background and tree silhouettes. Uh, we're going to take three different groups. Uh, the first is going to be the tree silhouette and the other tree a little bit slightly behind and the uh, big group of trees on the uh, uh, horizon. So uh, that's going to help us to create the beautiful composition because the composition, the composition is all about how we can uh, compose pieces of our landscape on our paper. So we're going to put our paper vertically, create uh, the, first of all, with the pencil, the tree silhouettes, and then we're going to work on the beautiful snow and uh, kind of like a later evening sky. So that is going to help us to see the old beauty of the snow. And uh, of course, the snow, what we think about when we think about snow, it's appeared to be white, but it's also the magical thing about the white color. It's always uh, kind of absorbed the other colors, which is uh, its white color surrounded. So we're going to learn how to create the white snow without being white. So like on this beautiful picture of one of my students, and we're going to start with the painting the background and then create the silhouettes of trees and then work on the snow and use some special effects like a sparkles or a little bit of glitter just to show the old beauty of our landscape. See you on the workshop. Thank you. Hello. Come and paint with us the beautiful and magical winter landscape with trees and snow with acrylic colors and a lot of fun and sparkling. Hello my friends, it's a winter time. Come and paint with us this beautiful landscape with trees made by acrylic colors with a lot of special effects as a glitter and uh, sparkles. Look at this beautiful picture of one of my students and uh, you're gonna make exactly the same. Hello my friends, it's a winter time. Come and paint with us the beautiful landscape with the trees and snow. Uh, and we're gonna make this with acrylic colors using the different techniques and some sparkles and um, some Hello my friends, it's a winter time. Come and paint with us the beautiful landscape with trees and snow Look at this beautiful artwork made by one of my uh, students uh, That's all made from acrylic colors and Hello my friends, it's a winter time. Come and paint with us at the beautiful art gallery at Prism with acrylic colors this landscape. Hello my friends, it's a winter time. Come and paint with us this beautiful landscape with trees and snow at the evening using acrylic colors and some fun materials as a glitter and some sparkles. There's one of my students' artwork. It's doable and easy and it's fun. See you on my lesson in the Prism Gallery. Hello my friends, it's a winter time. Come and paint with us this beautiful landscape with trees and snow at the evening using acrylic colors and some fun materials as a glitter and some sparkles. There's one of my students' artwork. It's doable and easy and it's fun. See you on my lesson in the Prism Gallery.